First, we're going to watch the whole scene and I'll explain the context. Then, I'll give you the literal translation of the expression and its meaning in this situation. After that, we'll watch it again without subtitles. Keep watching to learn how to speak like a native. Now let's start. Al final te ha servido esa carita de no roto un plato. ¿Perdona? No sé de qué me estás hablando, la verdad. La actitud no. esta que tienes de mosquita muerta. Que a lo mejor te sirve con Sara y con Don Carlos, pero conmigo no. Te voy a estar vigilando. In this scene, the secretary makes a sarcastic comment about Alba's innocent behavior, saying that is really paying off. Alba seems confused and denies knowing what she's talking about, but the secretary doesn't buy it and says that the innocent act might work with other people, but not with her. This scene finishes with a warning. Basically, there's tension and lack of trust between them. Now, let's break it down. Al final te ha servido esa carita de no haber roto un plato. Al final te ha servido la carita de no haber roto un plato. In the end, that face of not having broken a plate has served you. Carita de no haber roto un plato is a common Spanish idiom that talks about having an innocent face, like this one. In English, this character may say the wouldn't hurt a fly act worked. She is actually saying something like that afterwards when she says la actitud de mosquita muerta. La actitud esta que tienes de mosquita muerta. Here, la actitud de mosquita muerta refers to a dead fly attitude. Pretending to be innocent and harmless might work with other people, but not with her. For sure, she can see on Alba the sneaky and goody two shoes act. Atención, I also explained this phrase in another context in the video Learn Spanish with Netflix, the Vis a Vis edition. So I'll leave the link so you can check it out later. Te voy a estar vigilando. This scene finishes with the secretary saying, I'll be watching you. Te voy a estar vigilando. Whenever you hear voy, it's going to. It's a future tense. Ahora sí, ready para mirar sin subtítulos? Vamos. Al final te ha servido esa carita de no haber roto un plato. Perdona. No sé de qué me estás hablando, la verdad. La actitud no. esta que tienes de mosquita muerta. Que a lo mejor te sirve con Sara y con Don Carlos, pero conmigo no. Te voy a estar vigilando. Ready for the next scene? Y los de Fuentes se van a mezclar con la plebe, Clara. Pero ya les toca, ¿no? Y es que en realidad no creo que pueda ir. Porque es que a mí no me gustan mucho las fiestas. Marga, para decir que no te gusta una fiesta tienes que haber ido al menos alguna en tu vida. Y tú tienes pinta de no haber ido a ninguna. Venga, vamos a brindar. Ay, sí. Vamos. Vamos, Lidia. Ay, sí, vamos. Vamos a brindar por Marga y su primer vermú, por Ángeles, que gracias a tu ayuda... No, 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 sí, no, no, sí, no. sí, 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 hemos tenido esta oportunidad. Y por las nuevas chicas del cable. Sí. Chin, chin. Ah, y porque a partir de ahora vamos a ser mujeres independientes. In the scene, the cable operators met to celebrate the first day of work. They are talking about a party that's about to happen where everyone is attending. One of them makes a snobbish comment about the family mingling with the common people. Marga expresses doubt about attending to the party, saying that she doesn't like parties. Carlota teasingly suggests that Marga has never been to a party before. The group then toasts to Marga, celebrating their independence as women. Bueno, ¿se entendió algo? Now that you get the context, could you get something? I want to explain you the phrase Se van a mezclar con la plebe, claro. Y los de Fuentes se van a mezclar con la plebe, claro. Mezclar, verb that means to mix or to mingle. La plebe refers to the common people or the lower social class. So what one of the chicas is saying, la familia Cifuentes is going to mingle to mix with the workers, people from lower social class, the workers. The word claro at the end of the phrase emphasizes the fact of what is happening. It's like obviously, certainly it's an expected situation, of course. 
Next one is Ya les toca. Actually, I say it in a different accent because I'm from South America. They say ya les toca. <laughs> ya les toca, no? The literal translation of les toca, it can be it touches them or it is their turn. In this context, ya les toca, it's saying it's about time that de la familia Cifuentes interacts with the workers. This scene continues with Marga declining the invitation to the party, saying that she doesn't like parties. No me gustan las fiestas. I mean, is there someone who doesn't like parties? Porque es que a mí no me gustan mucho las fiestas. Marga. Para decir que no te gusta una fiesta, tienes que haber ido al menos alguna en tu vida. Y tú tienes pinta de no haber ido a ninguna. If you remember, Carlota answers her by teasing her a bit. To say you don't like parties, you have to have been at least to one of them. And here comes the phrase that I like the most in this scene. She says, Tienes pinta de no haber ido a ninguna. Tener pinta is a Spanish colloquial expression normally used in more informal situations or conversations. Used to describe someone's appearance or give an impression about a person based on the way it might look or the characteristics this person may have. Conclusion. Tener pinta, it translates to to have the look or to look like. Then these ladies do the toes, the chin-chin. This is how we call it. Por las nuevas chicas del cable. Chin-chin. Sí. Y porque a partir de ahora vamos a ser mujeres independientes. They are celebrating the fact of being independent women. Mujeres independientes. This is how we like it. Ready para mirar sin subtítulos? Vamos. Y los de Fuentes se van a mezclar con la plebe, claro. Pero ya les toca, ¿no? Y es que en realidad no creo que pueda ir. Porque es que a mí no me gustan mucho las fiestas. Marga. Para decir que no te gusta una fiesta, tienes que haber ido al menos alguna en tu vida. Y tú tienes pinta de no haber ido a ninguna. Venga, vamos a brindar. Vamos. Vamos, Lidia. Ay, sí, vamos. Vamos a brindar por Marga y su primer vermú. Por Ángeles, que gracias a tu ayuda... No, 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 sí, no, no, sí, no. sí, sí, sí. Hemos tenido esta oportunidad. Y por las nuevas chicas del cable. Sí. Chin, chin. Ah. Y porque a partir de ahora vamos a ser mujeres independientes.